73% of the top 30 AE firms in the world, architecture, engineering, planning firms in the world, have adopted the 2030 targets and are moving aggressively to meet the targets. This is Perkins and Will, DLR, HOK, you know, just the, the firms we, we hear about all the time. Uh, some of the firms start out with carbon neutral as a baseline before they even start design and try to meet that target and then they either get above or below that target. So if you're a student, by the time you get out of school, whether it's next year or four years from now, five years from now, you go to graduate school, you will need uh, to understand the principles uh, and the how-to of designing carbon neutral buildings or zero net energy buildings. If you don't, uh, if you can't do that, you're, you're, you don't have skills to market, to be honest with you. The universities are a little behind the professions, but they have begun to transform. You can't pick up a course syllabus and not see a, uh, this green or, you know, or that sustainable. Um, so that's happening. The key is, can they keep up with the profession? And the only way that they can keep up with the profession is when uh, uh, that thinking permeates the entire syllabus so that students are ecologically literate. That means they understand that when I draw a line on the computer screen or even by hand, however you do it, that that, that line s stretches out from that piece of paper all the way through the entire environment to how it got made, who mined the materials to make that line when it's, when it's, uh, when it's built. That issue has to be fundamental to all the other issues. Uh, and if, it, if, if they're not getting that in school, they need to begin demanding it. Never stop designing for a better world. Learn how at sustainabilityworkshop.autodesk.com.